It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Uradler Brewery and this is the Galactic Vortex West Coast Double IPA coming in at 7.6% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. It's brewed by Bridge Road Brewers or it's a collaboration with Bridge Road Brewers. Uh, brewed with pure Uradler spring water. It's actually a place, Uradler is a place in Australia. Um, thank you very much to Travis in Australia for sending me this beer. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Get the last little bit of the beer in, so give it a bit of a rigorous pour if you want to. And then swirl that last bit of beer up in the can. Get all that beery goodness into the bottom of the glass. And we've got a one finger white head. Hazy. Amber coloured ale. I'd say it's a medium amount of carbonation rolling up the middle of the glass. It's not too lively. It's not flat. It's kind of like in the middle, middle of the road. It looks to be, for one moment then, it looked like it was a bottle or a can conditioned beer, but it's not. It's just some of the carbonation stuck to the bottom of the glass. Um, nice and hazy, let's get the aroma. Oh, it's cheered me up. Cheer me. I've been fighting with this damn thing for the last 15 minutes, trying to pour a blooming pint of the vice beer that I made on it. And it just made me really mad and angry. And I thought, oh, I'm going to give up on that and grab a can of Australian double IPA and review this instead. I've just had nothing but trouble with this blooming thing behind me. But on a nicer note, on a more positive note, this smells amazing. Grapefruit, orange peel, lemon, spiciness, pepperiness. You can almost smell the bitterness coming through from this beer. Oh, it smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. A classic West Coast double IPA. Oh. Nice and bitter on the back end. It's got a lovely, lovely bitterness. It just, it's like a crescendo of flavour. The lemon, lemon peel, orange peel, grapefruit peel. It's like you, you, you're biting into all of those peels at once. Lovely and bitter. Lovely and bitter. It's got a nice creaminess to it as well. Nice levels of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It, it, I'm, I'm, I'm almost, almost tempted to say that the the beer has a nice amount of oats in it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. We'll check on the side of the can in a bit. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. The sweetness from the malt, it's a light kind of wafer, like biscuity flavour. Sweetness is there, pepperiness, spiciness kicks in. Then you're getting those lovely flavours, the peels, the lemon peel, orange peel, grapefruit peel. It's like cutting a grapefruit in half, putting a little bit of sugar on the grapefruit. 
and getting stuck into that grapefruit, you know, with all the sugar on the top and beautiful, 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 beautiful tasting beer. And then again, that bitterness on the back end, absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. It's a good kind of old fashioned now, if you want to be honest. Uh, these, these beers have been around for about 15, 15 years now, the old West Coast style double IPA. And for a long, long time, for a long time, they were very, very popular. Very, very popular. It was almost like the bitter, the better. It was almost like the bitter, the better. The, the old kind of 100 IP, IBU beers. Uh, you know, crazy mics from Poland and um, Stone. Oh, what did Stone Brewing Company in, in America produce? Um, they produced a double IPA. The version one, which was just proper bitter. Oh, what was that beer called? Anyway, they, they produced a version two of the beer. Uh, Ruination. Stone's Ruination. They produced a version two of the beer. And by version two, they made it like a New England IPA. They took a lot of the bitterness away. So the whole name of the beer, Ruination, you know, to ruin your palate with that 100 IP with that bitterness, completely went away in the end. They, 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 they kind of almost like about faced and went the other way. What they should have done is probably retired the beer, the Ruination double IPA, and come up with another style of an evolution of the style rather than calling it Ruination version 2. But anyway, this is this beer. Um, I've noticed the Australians in their drinking kind of ways have taken more to the West Coast double IPA. It must be a very good seller in Australia because a lot of the double IPAs I drink from Australia seem to be West Coast really bitter and I can't fault that really I mean if you like that if you're buying it if you're brewing it and you're selling it then carry on brewing it I like the balance the sweetness and the bitterness a really nice balance between that lovely sweet beer and the bitterness on the back end. I'm not a lover of sweet beers. I'm not. But if a beer is balanced out with bitterness, I love it. Absolutely love it. Is there anything on the side of the can then? They're based in Green Hill Road, Uradler in Uradler, Australia. And it's brewed at Uradler Brewery. With, uh, I've not had a beer from Bridge Road or, or with, with Bridge Road Brewers for a while. I'm going to rate it. I like it. 330 milliliter can. I like it enough to give it... It's a proper double IPA. It's a proper West Coast double IPA. I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.